Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to let you all know before we get into today's video about our most recent subscriber giveaway winner. Ted Simpson here won a Moldy Worm Gaming mug. I do these subscriber giveaways every time we reach a subscriber goal on the channel. We recently hit 300 subs, which was absolutely incredible. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We're now going for 400 subscribers so as soon as we hit 400 subs i will be posting a giveaway on social media so if you're not following me on social media make sure you do go and check out the description and uh, if you're not subscribed and you want a chance to win some moldy merch then definitely consider subscribing but with that said thank you and i'll let you enjoy the video Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we are back in SnowRunner continu continuing sorry, our SnowRunner Let's Play series. Um, if you haven't seen the last episode, definitely go and check that out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we towed one of the massive trailers in the game with the Pacific P16. It was a little bit of a hairy journey, but we did make it in the end, and we didn't have any rolling occurrences, surprisingly. Uh, but today, we are actually back in Russia. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Russian maps. They're very muddy, they're very boggy, and generally the terrain is quite hard going. Uh, but today, I thought we'd return to Russia because something that I discovered is if we actually open up the map here and you can see for Zinogorsk it says there is no garage either but that is because you actually have to go and build the garage in Zinogorsk so today what I thought we'd do is see if we can actually build the garage so to tackle this quite large task we're gonna need a very good vehicle and today i've got a brand new vehicle for you yeah that's right we're going to be using the Tega 6436 this thing is an absolute off-roading beast um, has quite a lot of customization you can obviously tow a semi trailer which is very very useful for today's video and there are a couple of different options that you can get that are locked. I went out in a scout vehicle and actually decided to unlock them for you. So today we can fully trick this thing out. So the engine options, uh, there are three different engine options for this vehicle. Uh, you can have the Laz 8 T290. Uh, as you can see, the power to weight increases, but the fuel goes down, so it's not the greatest engine. But this engine, which I did unlock, gives you the best power to weight ratio. It's got S class power to weight ratio, A class durability. The fuel consumption goes down a bit, but I'm honestly okay with that. So we'll chuck that in the thing. Uh, the gearbox, I didn't actually go and unlock the gearbox because I don't really see any point in these. I've not really used them. Uh, so we just use the stock gearbox. The suspension, you can raise the suspension and we have unlocked that. So we're going to go and do that. Now the tyres, there are some awesome tyres you can get on this vehicle. So if I keep scrolling down, we've obviously got all the usual highway tyres all-terrain tires there are a bunch of different options you can get there we can actually get some pretty big tires on this we can get 47 inch tires or if you have the lift kit you can get the 51s on there but if we keep going keep going keep going there's a little bit further yet in the mud tire section we can get these bad boys right here uh, we can actually get them in the 51s as well. They are absolutely massive. The TMS1, uh, that is what these are called. 51 inch tyres and this thing's usually a 12 wheeler and it is converted to a 6 wheeler. It puts these massive fat tyres on the back. We usually have dually tyres on the back and now we just have the singles. So this thing well it already looks much better it actually looks like an off-road vehicle now so we're gonna slap them on there seven grand straight out of my pocket not really too bothered about that because we are improving this truck a lot 
the winch you can get all the sort of normal winches you can have the extended the advanced medium and the high powered and today I've decided we're actually going to go ahead and put the advanced medium winch on there. It's 18 grand, so it is quite expensive. Uh, but this thing has an extended winch, so it's much longer than the normal winch. And it is also a bit more powerful. So I feel like that is going to be useful. If we're going to be towing a semi-trailer, which we are, it's going to be very useful. The spare wheel, we can fit one of those on the thing. So we'll do that. The snorkel, there are a few different snorkel options. The stock short round cap looks quite neat. Uh, you can have the tall front facing snorkel and you can have the air filter intake. Um, but the short, the short round cap that comes with standard here is actually pretty decent. So we're just gonna leave that on there. Frame add-ons, you can get all the usual frame add-ons. You can get a crane, you can get a flatbed, van body, all the usual things. But today we're going to be putting the saddle low on because we're gonna be pulling a semi-trailer. So we're gonna need that on there. Then in visual stuff, there is a few different visual things we can do. On the rear bumper, nothing we can do there. Um, we can have the chrome cap sun visor, but I don't really think this vehicle suits a sun visor So I'm gonna leave that off on the roof. We can have a cabin air conditioner We can have a round beacon. We can have round parking lights We can have the small parking lights. We can have a roof fog bar or we can have the roof fog bar and lights. Uh, I'm gonna stick the fog lights on there. I'm a bit of a stickler for fog lights. I think it just makes your truck look so off-road. So I'm gonna stick them on there. Um, can we actually get any other options? Ooh, we can go for some nice small parking lights. And yeah, that will do nicely. On the front bumper, there's a few different options we can get. You can get the reinforced bumper, you can have the hinged bumper, you can have the lattice bumper, that actually looks really nice, I do like that. You can have the heavy duty pipe, that makes it look really beast off road, or you can just have the stock one. Um, I would go for this one, but sadly it is locked, so I'm actually going to go for this one. I actually think I like the hinge one a little bit more. Uh, miscellaneous we can get external horns or we can have the twin horns I think the external horns look a little bit better so we will throw those on there the exhaust it, usually it has a sort of side pipe exhaust down near the wheels but you can have the heat shielded you can have the wedge capped exhaust you can have a muzzle exhaust or you can have the stock one which is just out the side there you can see i think we might actually just stick with the stock one because i think that looks pretty good and then obviously we can't change the rims because we've got these awesome bogger tires on there but i actually really like those rims they're kind of like split rims look really cool so i'm gonna leave them on there and then in the paint section we can obviously go ahead and paint the thing there are a few two-tone things that you can put on this vehicle. So we obviously have the stock blue, red, and white. Looks really nice, actually. You can have the red, white, and black. You can have um, green, white, and black. You can have orange and black, which I think is what we're going to go for, actually. Or you can have the beige and white. The beige and white actually does look rather cool. I'm not gonna lie, it does look very off-roady. But I'm gonna go for the orange. It just looks really good in orange. And obviously you've got all the usual solid colors as well. Uh, but I think the orange does look really nice. And there we go, that is the thing fully customized. There is quite a lot you can do on this vehicle. And a little side note, it does come standard with all-wheel drive and diff locks. And it is actually a pretty fast vehicle as well. Okay, so we are back outside in Drowned Lands. Um, obviously, we can't, you know, we can't just travel straight to 
is in the gorse because we don't have the garage there yet so we're going to have to go from Drownlands through the quarry and then to Zindergorsk and you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen the key buildings restoration that is what we're going to need to basically build the garage we're going to need uh, two concrete slabs and one fuel so we're going to be using a uh, semi trailer right here we'll throw that on the thing that can carry five cargo which is going to be useful because the concrete slabs both take up two so that will be four and the fuel takes up one so that is going to be absolutely perfect so uh, the concrete slabs we get from the quarry and the fuel we can actually get from here which is actually on our way to the quarry gateway so we might as well stop there we basically want to follow the road that we are on and then when we get to here I think we might turn off here at the warehouse and then turn off here take this little road and then go there and we'll just miss out that horrible bog there it doesn't look very fun and then we want to go here hmm how do we actually get into this place I don't know I guess we'll figure it out oh, I think we just go in there and the barrels are right there and then we can just go ahead and carry on to the quarry gateway right I think we are just approaching the like fuel station thingy um, that is actually where we want to be going it's a bit of a horrible corner getting in here but that is where we're going to pick the fuel barrels up from just go for a little bit of a three point turn there um, okay um, cargo management there we go we got one lot of fuel in there we just need to pick up the two concrete slabs at the quarry now um, so we actually need to just carry on now we basically just carry on on this road and then hook a left all right we've got a little bit of a bog before we can get onto the main road this will be a good test of the Tega. there's also a sunken truck over there that's for a future episode to go and rescue um i think the road goes over there but i'm going to chuck it through the middle here we're going to shortcut we're going to beeline it might not have been the best idea in the world let's stick it in low range let's see what the Tiger the Targa Tiger I think it's Tiger we'll see how it performs here it's not doing too bad I'm asking quite a lot of it here it's pulling a semi trailer whilst trying to pull itself out of a bog but it has done that okay and we are back onto the road okay and here is the main road once again I'm gonna hook a left and the, um, the the gateway is just up here right let's travel to the quarry okay so we are in quarry now we've collected our fuel and we have traveled to quarry uh, we now need to go and collect our um we need to collect our concrete slabs two concrete slabs which we get from the quarry down here um so it's going to be a little bit interesting because we have to get down here to the bottom of the quarry Right, we could have actually just gone straight down there um, do we risk going straight down it doesn't look like too bad of a slope I'm a little bit concerned that the trailer might roll but it might be a, a tad easier I'm on the brakes I'm on the brakes oh this is a bit nerving okay yeah it's not too bad I think that's easier than going all the way around there because that is quite a long route as well and this is where we collect our concrete slabs from so you can see they take up two each and so that is four so the trailer is fully loaded now 
um, we've got everything we need you can see in the top right we've got two concrete slabs and one lot of fuel so now we need to just get out of the quarry and travel to Zinnegorsk and then when we get over to Zinnegorsk here this is where we'll pop out at the quarry we literally only have to travel to the warehouse here and then we can build the brand new garage does this thing have the power to pull this trailer up that slope i feel like it does it's a pretty good truck i'm not gonna lie in fact some of the youtubers in the like snowrunner community have said that this is one of the best trucks in the game just overall not just one of the best off-road trucks just generally one of the best trucks in the game so let's test that shall we come on truck come on it's still going come on come on keep going keep going keep going okay okay yeah and we've gone yeah probably wasn't the best idea i'm not gonna lie we we probably shouldn't have come up that slope and now i have to go and get a truck to pull us back over and uh get these get this cargo back in here so bear with me while i go and get another truck okay i brought the i don't even remember what the name of this truck is but uh, i brought it over here with the massive cream add-on on the back uh, because one i have not had a chance to show you the crane and two we obviously need to load the cargo back in so the first job we're gonna need to roll the truck back over so let's get on with that i'm gonna put it in low box reverse and see yeah this thing doesn't have any problems with rolling that back over uh, okay right I'm actually gonna swap into the Tager and see if we can do that again hmm but not roll it this time so last time I went a little bit high I'm gonna try and not go too high this time uh, right, I think we need to go up that hill a little bit. Get the back of the trailer sort of on. Oh, it's going again. And we've gone again, we've gone again. Oh my god. Okay, so with a little bit of faffing around, I have got the Tager back on its wheels. I did end up having to just pull it down the slope because I couldn't get it righted where it was at. And I'm just going to try and drive it out the way we should have gone instead of trying to go up this hill. Uh, but we do need to just load the cargo in, so I'll just fast forward this. Uh, but I want to just show you guys how the crane works. And there we go magically it is all back in the trailer we're back where we left off let's not roll the thing this time all the cargo is back in there we've got the trailer on um, the way we want to go is ooh, let me see let me let me just open the map here right so we want to actually go over here and then we just follow that road round and that should lead us onto the road that we were attempting to get onto. Okay, we are back onto the main road. We didn't luckily have any more rolling occurrences, which was nice. 
um, we didn't have any more issues with that I did get a little bit stuck in that bog on the way back nothing too exciting I just winched myself out um, but the added weight of the concrete slabs I did think caused us a bit of grief there uh, but now it's just a nice straight tarmac road to Zindagorsk and then we're going to go ahead and build the garage And here we are in Zinnegorsk. Um, this is actually the first time we've traveled to this map in our Let's Play series. And I'll open up the map so you can have a little look. Um, I have off camera gone and uncloaked all the watchtowers. Um, I played this map in a co-op session. Uh, it was actually a pretty fun map. I do enjoy this map quite a bit So I thought I'd just go and have a little explore see what I could find and I decided to just go and uncloak all of the watchtowers, so It's a pretty small map um, There is a little town area up here. The terrain is actually not too bad in this one It's probably the nicest Russian map you'll come across and it does have this nice little lake going through the middle but we are going to be traveling literally just around the corner to the warehouse here and we're going to see if we can build the garage so then we can actually spawn in Zindigorsk. Right, so we just want to turn in here. Now it's quite a tight entrance so I'm hoping we should be able to get in here. I've also just noticed we are very very low on fuel. It's actually a good job we made it here and it's a good job we're going to be building a garage because that means we can actually refuel our truck again so we just need to drive to here and you can see the like frame is already there but if we go ahead and unload it there we go we actually build the garage in Zindagos it's really cool I wish more of the maps actually had garages in them and uh, you had to to build them if you had to just build the garages in some of the other maps that would be a lot cooler but anyway if we go over here we should yep yeah, there we go garage discovered i mean we did actually build the garage so i mean surely we knew where it was we didn't really discover it but anyway um we are here at the warehouse i'm just going to actually move the trailer out of the way uh, we're just going to ditch it there for now. I think that is good. Um, detached trailer. And what's cool is we actually have this like little service ramp. If you drive up there, I think it repairs your truck. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but we can try that out in a minute. But if we drive over to here, we should, yep, yeah, be able to move to the garage there we go we have got 330 liters of fuel the Tega is fully refueled once again and uh, we've got all the usual slots and uh, everything we can go ahead and customize the truck everything is as it is in the other garages and yeah we can actually now basically fast travel to Zindagorsk if we want to Okay, so I don't think it does anything if you're not broken. I think if you're broken, you just drive up here and it automatically fixes your truck. But it's a cool little feature. I haven't actually seen this in any of the other maps. So um, it's actually really cool. And I do like this like warehouse location. It is actually really cool. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed. We did have a minor rolling occurrence, but that was more my fault, not a fault of the truck. If you guys are looking for a good off-road truck in this game, I definitely can recommend the Tega to you. It's got awesome customization. It's a pretty good off-roader. It's probably my new new go-to off-road vehicle and uh, yeah we have also built the garage in Zindagorsk so if you guys want to know how to get to the quarry or how to unlock the 
mission to build the garage i will leave a link in the description to those videos but that is going to do it thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video